the way Tua operates, particularly in the red zone, and people have to understand. Let me let me let me paint the picture for you, Tua. I've decided from this point, you're the first person who's going to hear this, because everybody's so sensitive about Tua, and he can't be criticized, and he's got this Tua Tebow effect to him, and you can't say anything negative about Tua. Um, and he didn't have a good day yesterday. Uh, that I, I want to tell you the one play that just drove me up the wall, and I tweeted about it, and it, it got a whole lot of attention. Tua threw a hot-ass pass, just trash, to Jakeem, who's wide open, under thrown, wide open in the middle field. Tua creeps up in the pocket, evades pressure. Nobody's in his face. He's stepping into the throw, and the throw just absolutely died. It was as if the wind just took it and just, just flattened it out. Jakeem comes under it, gets his hand on it, but drops it. Nobody's even around him. So it was like, it was just like, and that could have been the play of the day if if it was done right. But but Tua struggled yesterday. And I've realized what I'm going to do now, and this is a very dolphin specific thing, is I'm going to tell you how Tua practiced by saying he had a Chad Henney practice. Yesterday was a Chad Henney practice. Uh, then there's the Ryan Tannehill practice. Then there could be the Matt Moore practice where it's like, okay, I'm going to gunsling it. Then then we can have the um, – who's the horrible quarterback that everybody wanted other than Ginn? Um, uh, Cleo Lemon? Cleo no, Lemon? no, 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 no. Everybody wanted him to, to – Brady Quinn. Oh, oh Brady Quinn. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, yeah. If, if you get a Brady Quinn practice, it's the worst practice because it was – Brady Quinn was the by far the worst quarterback I've ever seen in the Dolphins uniform. Um, but worse than Cleo Lemon? Oh, Brady Quinn was horrendous. Brady Quinn. Oh, threw... that's, that's no, no, a, no, 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 no. the title, bro. No, no, no. Cleo wasn't oh, well, bad. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. You did not watch Josh Heupel. I did. I think I did watch Josh Rick Heupel. Spiel, Rick Spielman had a better arm than Josh Heupel. Yeah. I, I might not have watched Josh Heupel, but I asked people who watched Josh Heupel. Brady Ooh. Quinn, and I hate to do this because he gets all in his feelings every time I, I do this. Brady Quinn threw three interceptions a day, then had the nerve to come out and tell him, tell the media that the coaches were telling him to throw interceptions to get the cornerbacks work. And the cornerbacks were laughing their asses off <laughs> at, at that excuse, which was an excuse. Um, but, yeah, uh, so so I'm going to now – so Brady Quinn. So Brady Quinn was throwing batting practice, basically in a baseball term, is what. Oh it, yeah, 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 yeah. He claimed he claimed he was throwing back, like uh, you know, <laughs> and he was by far the worst quarter. Now, yeah, he we saw him at the end of his career. He's not even like a six hundred. He's not even a fifty-five percent completion percentage guy. And by so the way, the, the end of his career doesn't mean he was fifteen years in the league. By the way, he's only in the league for a couple. Yeah, of years. no. It, was, um, it wasn't he, like his arm had four billion throws in live. Yeah, live he was he was part of the all looks team, but he was the worst quarterback that I'd ever seen practice in a Dolphins uniform. Wow! But but okay. from now on, the point is, from now on, because fans get it so in their feelings, I'm going to specifically talk to Dolphin fans and tell you how your quarterback practiced by comparing it to a quarterback of your past. Okay. All right. Well. Man, but our recent past is so painful, dude. I hey, mean, man, it is what it is. He had he had, he had a Chad Henney practice yesterday. It was it just it just is what it is. And but but to 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 I to get into my point, he's gotten so good in the red zone. He is Chad Pennington in the red zone, where Chad would, you know, especially red zone seven on sevens. Like, there's no way he's not throwing a, a touchdown completion, especially with nobody in his face. It's because he can put the ball so accurately wherever he wants to put it. Defenders can't do anything about it. 